now we're fast forwarding to the 2021 growing season. We decided to go with a no dig approach for the potatoes this year, and that was based on Charles Dowding's method. This year we went with Yukon Gold potatoes. I ordered early so that we could get what we wanted. There's a hummingbird up there buzzing around. If you want to see exactly how we set up the no dig garden, I made a video about that. I think it's called like no dig backyard garden transformation, something similar to that. I'll put a link below, but these next clips are going to be a time lapse kind of of me planting those potatoes in the no dig garden area using the Charles Dadding method. Here is that clip. what the potatoes look like after 10 days. They probably would have been just fine after two or three days, but I just now got the opportunity to plant them. And now we're gonna put them in. So since these are no dig potatoes, I just went down to the cardboard layer. I'm just gonna put it in there and cover it back over. Same thing with this. And I'm gonna do that with all of them all the way down. And then we're gonna bring in another load of soil after and mound it up. trying to get this filmed before the storm gets here. In this clip, we're mixing the soil to put on top of the potatoes. When we mounted them the second time before I did the straw, this is the method that we did that with. And it's a mixture of three parts topsoil to two parts compost to one part vermiculite. What I might wanna add is that this will vary depending on your crop, your environment, it rains a lot here, so we don't need as much to keep the moisture in. If I still lived in Texas, I would add more vermiculite to keep more moisture in. So it varies depending on your specific circumstances and growing conditions. Just keep that in mind. This is us mixing that soil to mound the potatoes. <laughs> Okay, this is the second mounding, it's starting to rain. Planted them in the soil first, and then we mounded them with that soil mixture the first time. And now the next mounding that I'm gonna do is with chopped straw, and that's what this clip is. <laughs>
think it might be time to mound up the soil. It seems like they're getting pretty tall. What is today? Sunday the 15th. It is, but what are we about to harvest? Potatoes, potatoes. <laughs> Potato harvesting today. Today is August 15th. The plan is we're just gonna harvest this inside row here first. And then depending on how those look, we're gonna leave this outside row for another week or so. Oh. But if they look like we left them too long, we may go ahead and take the first row. Set these up and we'll see what we've got. Yeah. Potatoes, Hi. we might actually have some potatoes yeah. this year. All right, so last year we did the roof stout method in that area over there that I hope to turn into a chicken coop one day. But basically, long story short, when I went to go harvest, there was nothing there. There was poison hay and they had fallen over and died and there was no, there were no potatoes when we went to harvest. So <laughs> I have, I'm a little traumatized from that, but we're gonna try this out and we hope there's some potatoes under there this time. Uh-oh. <laughs> There's some potatoes. Not a lot, but potatoes there's some potatoes. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, that doesn't look good. We may end up pulling both rows today. Well, it looks like you got some holes in them. Mm hmm. All right. Well, let's get to digging, see what we can find. Gold. <laughs> Homegrown potatoes. Homegrown potatoes. That's right. There's something called potato candy that we can make out of that. I'll have to look it up. There's not very many potatoes so far. Whoop. Whoop. Two. Yeah. There's just bugs sometimes. Yay! Potato! Another potato! Two potatoes. See? Yeah, I like that one. Did I leave it too long? Sure. Or is that bugs? I don't know. It's gross. That one's split. I mean, that's an improvement over last year. 
even if some broke and got weird and mushy and probably not edible. Any of them that look questionable will eat those first. dead on the other camera but this is it we went ahead since there weren't very many over here it looked like maybe some pests that got into them or maybe i don't know apparently i'm not very good at growing potatoes so this has been the most successful haul we've had so far and you know it's like maybe two bags worth you buy at the store but we'll weigh them and i'll show you how much came from each and this is the bucket that was the row of chit pieces and this is the bucket that was the whole seed potatoes. So it's not a very big yield, but it's 100% more than I produced last year, which was none. So I guess it only gets better from here. We'll weigh in later and give an update. Maybe I'll put it on the screen or something. So you'll know how much was in each one. There you go. There's our potato experience so far. I know it was a long one, but I feel like it was a fun process. I had a lot of fun editing the video and putting it together. It was quite the doozy though. There were over a hundred different video clips that I had to piece together. But these are some of my favorite videos to put together. They just take a really long time. I think the kids are in there playing hide and seek. As I was putting the video together and editing all the pieces, the thing that stuck out to me more so even than the potatoes was all the progress from how much different the kitchen garden area looked in one of the video clips none of the three long garden beds are there but now you see them in every garden tour the backyard noted garden area wasn't there at all i have changed i think quite a bit the children are now a year and a half older so they have also changed quite a bit so even though I thought this video was just gonna be about potatoes and growing potatoes it's actually about progress and isn't that how it goes with everything you think you're doing one thing and you're learning a whole different lesson than the one you expected I hope you enjoyed the potatoes I hope you enjoyed the progress if you like videos like this please be sure and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, I would love it if you could subscribe. I think we're about 80 subscribers now and we need to get up to a thousand before we can get monetized. That will give me some more resources to make more videos like this and to do bigger projects and to do more fun things. Make sure you hit that little bell icon. That way you'll get a notification anytime I post a garden tour, transformation, or I just feel inspired to connect with you. You'll get a notification as soon as I post a video. Thank you so much for being here today. This has been my favorite video so far. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again next time. Bye!